Hola amores, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Espero que estén teniendo un buen día y um, me alegro verlos de nuevo en mi canal. Thank you for joining my channel. How are you doing today, Mayday Familia? So, today I want us to talk about the topic of um, healthy people, INFJs, and introverts, essentially, right? So INFJs are introverts. We, we all know that. And what does that mean? Well, that means that for the most part, we get our energy from being and spending time by ourselves, as opposed to being and spending time with other people. And so in today's society, though, What ends up happening is not what ends up happening. What it, what has happened is that the our current culture and our current society and our at least in the U.S. is tailored towards um, not just individuality but extroverts. And I think this is particularly in the U.S. I don't. I think. countries are different. Like for example, in Korea or Asian countries, the value isn't in being different. The value is being the same as everyone else. You wouldn't want to be different. It's just encouraged to, to stand out. And so there by definition, most of them are most likely uh, more introverted in the sense of Um, in the sense of not going outside of the norm, right? Or what outside of what everyone else is doing, which is what, you know, extroverts are very energetic people. <laughs> But I, I think, honestly, it's hard. Now that I think about it, it's hard to draw that connection. You know, just because there, it's, you know, within the Asian society and con Asian countries, just because individuality isn't valued does not necessarily translate to everyone there being an introvert. So I don't think that's correct. I, I do. I think they could still be extroverts. But, you know, the definition of an extrovert is someone that likes being around people because that's how they get their energy. And so, um you know, it just, I guess, boils down to the individual, right? It just seemed less likely to me. But now that I process through it, just because it seems less likely doesn't really mean anything. It, I mean, it just boils down to the individual themselves. But anyways, nonetheless, in the US, since that's where I'm at, that's where I could speak to the most, <laughs> with the most ease, you know, the culture is really tailored towards extroverts. And so extroverts are viewed more favorably than introverts. Um, so I think that that is one of the biggest reasons why introverts are often so misunderstood, especially the INFJ personality, very, very misunderstood because there's just not that many of us. Um, or, uh, you know, a lot of people that are INFJs or introverts, you know, just... try to be extroverts and so because that's what's what's this, this that's what the society that we currently live in values the most that's what we place as the most valuable um for us as a society so you get as a result you get a lot of this notion and feedback from other people that being an introvert and being an INFJ is unhealthy. I've actually heard us being described. I've heard INFJs be being described as people with um, person people with a personality disease. I was appalled when I heard that because I was like, whoa, 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 a personality disease. <laughs> So people really don't like what they can't and don't understand, right? It just, it, they freak out. And so just because you don't understand something doesn't mean it's a disease. What are we talking about here? And so um, I've, I, I've only heard that from one place, one channel, actually. I, and I've 
consumed a lot of content concerning personality types and read a lot of things. I've never heard us described in that way. It was only literally one channel that described us in that way, which I did leave a comment to where I was like, I need, I, you should probably crop that out because I, I don't know why you're describing us like that. That's weird um, and inaccurate, right? So, but a lot of people think, nonetheless, a lot of people think that being an INFJ is wrong or there's something with, there's something wrong with being an INFJ or being an INFJ sucks, right? Now, I personally, I love being an INFJ. I love it. Why? Because of the strengths that it comes with. It is something that, and, I, and probably because I use it every day in my work <laughs> as a counselor, I am spot on, right? With being able to read those emotions, being able to predict the future. No, I'm not a fortune teller, but I'm able to piece together the puzzles in such depth and so much where I, I'm 10 times more efficient for my clients. And also, I just like being able to spend time with myself without freaking out about that, right? Like without, for an extended period of time, without feeling like I just have to be around other people. I like having that skill set. I like, um, I like being able to sense what people are feeling and empathize in a much higher level. And I also like the clarity that I feel like it brings. I feel like today's society, everyone wants to brush things under the rug. They want to ignore the truth. They're not very logical. They're not very consistent. And because of my personality type, I do not do that. I, I tend to be fairly consistent. And when I notice inconsistency, I do tend to ask about it or point it out if it's important enough. If it's going to shatter the other person, I usually won't say anything. <laughs> I usually wouldn't say anything, um, especially because I can tell whether or not that person is, has grown enough to be able to internalize the message in the first place, or, or would it just effectively be a waste of my time? And most of the times it would be a waste of my time to say anything, because even if I say something they literally just won't understand what I'm saying, right? If I say something like you don't really know yourself, you, you know, to really understand what that means, that person would really have to um, be ready for that message, right? Otherwise that person would be confused. What do you mean I don't know what, about myself? I know what I like to eat. I know what I, my hobbies, but for a person that's in tune and ready to receive that message and has that level of understanding, you'll know, you really don't know yourself. Well, what does that mean? Well, that, that really means that there are areas probably uh, where you, you have shortcomings or where you lack skill sets, whether it's engaging with other people that you might want to look into. Yeah, there are these challenges or maybe there's emotions that you're not giving yourself time to process. So it's deeper. And I enjoy having that insight and not having to live in chaos and live in lies, essentially. Because, right, I mean, most, of, most people, that's what they do. They just kind of lie to themselves. They lie to each other just to survive. Right. And I enjoy being in, in INFJ because I don't have to do that. Um, but at the same time, it's hard because you do see the truth so vividly. And so, you know, that's tough as well. But my preference is to be able to see it than just to be one of these people just walking around here. None the wiser. I do not like that. So when people say that it's a disease or it's wrong to be that way, I think it says more about them than it does about us or the IN, the INFJ personality type, because I think it just means that maybe they're, they just, they're just scared. They, they literally do not, when you don't understand something for regular people, when they don't understand something, they start putting labels on it. And they, because, because it's something you're unfamiliar with, how does that, you aren't familiar with something that does not equate to being a disease or weird or not the correct way of being. There is no correct way of being. 
for example, I could say, I could say extroverts are weird. They're not wired correctly. Extroverts are weird. They're not wired correctly because you should be able to get energy from yourself as opposed to having to rely on other people to give you that energy. That's insane, right? Like um, you should be, that's something you should be able to give to yourself and extroverts aren't. They have to be around people to get that energy. So I could say that's a disease. It's weird. But you see how that doesn't make sense. It's not a disease. It's not, it's just is the way the person is. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's literally it. It's, just, it. it's the way the person is. It's not wrong or whatever. So it's like, I think a lot of people, because they struggle with accepting that they don't know, right? Knowing that they don't know and accepting that you just don't know. And um, I'm going to, I'm going to say it. Most people are just not very intelligent, right? And so that's when with a lot of unintelligent people, that's where you get these dumb comments of like, oh, that's not the way to be, or that's not the right way to be, or, you know, like that's a disease or that's this or that's that when it is just what it is. And if you don't understand it, you have to be able to recognize that within yourself, that that's something that you just lack knowledge on. And then if you care enough, gain the knowledge. So you really have an understanding. I also hear a lot like um, INFJs is trauma is a trauma based personality that also is stupidity. Trauma is not based on personality, <laughs> right? Like personality is personality. Tra trauma can influence your personality potentially, maybe m making more of the negative traits of the personality that were already there or predisposition to be there. Uh, come out more, but it can't make or break what your personality is. Your personality is your personality, right? So a lot of people get this confused and a lot of INFJs also get it confused and they start feeling bad about themselves unnecessarily because your trauma is your trauma. Your personality is your personality. Those are two separate things, right? Your trauma does not make your personality, <laughs> it doesn't make your personality. It might bring out, bring more negative aspects out of your personality that were already there because you're trying to cope with this trauma in the only way you know how, but it doesn't make your personality. So to say that INFJ is a personality that's trauma-based makes no sense, right? Not to mention that every personality will have trauma in it. Why? Because trauma is not based off of personality. It's based off of the individual, right? So it's just an incorrect way of thinking. And I think most people are just, just unintelligent. They just don't know any better. Um, and even INFJs that feel this way about themselves are just, just have a lot of growth to do um but yeah you can't mix the two like what does your personality have to do with the fact that you're um that that you're an INF uh, sorry what does your personality your INFJ personality have to do with the fact that you have traumas in your life so in essence would that mean that extroverts don't have traumas in their lives because I could easily say you know an extrovert is clearly traumatized because they should be able to get an energy from themselves and not have to rely on other people for that energy um, and yet they can't right they don't they, they don't operate in that way but that would also be idiotic be why because th th that's not true it's inaccurate right so trauma has nothing to do with the forming of the personality. The personality is what the personality is. Trauma maybe can exacerbate some aspects of the personality to where it shows more, you're using it more, but it has nothing to do with the forming of it. So it makes no sense to say, oh, INFJ is, is based off of trauma, <laughs> right? That, that makes no sense. And you're saying that because you don't understand it and you're freaking out about not understanding it instead of just coming to the realization that it's a topic you don't know anything about.
right? So my biggest advice, love yourselves, INFJ, because it's literally the more research you do. I mean, you find like INFJs usually are literal geniuses. They score really high on IQ tests. And so do INTJs, right? Literally super smart people. So if we had more of them, I feel like the world would probably operate more efficiently. I'm not going to lie. But um, because people are so used to clinging on to what they wish, what they hope, their emotions, as opposed to operating based off of a very clear truth, you know, they um, can't necessarily and don't usually operate from that level or standpoint. So I would say as an INFJ, like um, definitely realize that you're actually ahead. <laughs> but you can't just say, oh, I'm an INFJ. I could just do this. Like you have to continually progress and improve. And that is a must, I think, in my mind, because you, I don't know, you just can't, I mean, being stagnant, what that that's not it for me. To, for me, that's not it. So um anyways that's enough on this topic I just had that come up and I really wanted to make a video on it because it's something that really resonated with me and of course I'll make more videos on the topic but go ahead and comment below what do you think do you think am I wrong am I right you know uh I know that there's this superiority complex that they um uh, a lot of people attribute to INFJs as well um but that's part of the homework that uh, as INFJs it's part of the homework that we have to do Right. We have to make sure that our internal compass is always strong enough to um, catch us if we are having some sort of superiority complex episode. Right. And I actually think that most INFJs don't have a superiority complex because we have such a thirst for knowledge. We're always wanting to know. And in order to have a thirst for knowledge, you have to be able to accept and admit that there's a lot that you don't know. And that is directly opposite of what a superiority complex is, right? So, or means. So anyways, that's just what I think. Um, so I think a lot of INFJs don't. Um, and I think the superiority complex, you'll probably find it more with narcissist that might just so happen to be INFJ <laughs> but not because the personality type is INFJ if that makes sense right so anyways leave your comment below let me know what you think I'll be doing more videos on the topic and I'm looking forward to talking to you more comment below subscribe if you find this content at all useful and go ahead and like the video for the youtube algorithm as well if you found this content or video at all useful and I will talk to you guys soon Bye.